Hey, it's Phil Thatch here in the garage, and today I'm going to try to do a little uh, macro photography with the Nikon Z6, the FTZ adapter, and the Tokina 100 f2.8 macro lens, uh, which of course on the Z6 is fully manual focus, but that's completely fine because I would manual focus macro photography anyway. Uh, you know, today is Thursday. Normally that's a day that I'd run all around and, and try to... Uh, do photography of some sort, but uh, I'm staying at home today even though the weather's nice. Um, my daughter's working on uh, some classes to save money on automobile insurance and my girlfriend's working from home today, so I decided to come down here in the garage and uh, do a little macro photography. My, my girlfriend has uh, planted Gerber daisies and boy, they're tough. Sometimes it's hard to get a nice bloom uh, in southeast Tennessee on a Gerber Daisy outside, but this particular one is pretty nice. So I clipped it and put it into, uh, tried to throw together a quick macro photography studio in the garage. Here I've got the garage door open behind the camera that uh, is making this video. And all this is natural uh, indirect light. It's, it's like I say, it's a bright sunny day and I've got natural indirect light coming in on the Gerber Daisy. So I have the Daisy on this, uh, it's a soldering station. I bought it on Amazon that you got these uh, alligator clips and you can hold two items that you want to solder together with it. But I thought it'd be great for macro photography and I've, I've used it a few times. You may have seen it in some of my other videos. And I have, uh, <laughs> the whole thing's on the front of my boat in the garage. And if I have one recommendation for purchasing a boat, buy one that will fit in your garage. You'll never have to pay to winterize it. You'll never have to pay to store it. Um, it just works out much, much better if you can fit your boat in the garage. But anyway, back to photography. I've got the Gerber Daisy and the little clamp. And I have a, uh, a black background, just a piece of canvas. That's actually from the boat, uh, sitting draped over a box. And I have it kind of angled to where the, the black is mostly in the shade of itself to make it darker because it's fairly reflective black. And then I have the daisy angled the other direction, catching a little bit of light. So it's not going to be straight at the camera. The next thing I want to do is mist the daisy a little bit. I've got a little uh, mister, and I'd like to moisten the daisy up a little bit for the picture. Should make it a little more attractive, hopefully. So now that that's done, we can get the camera set up. So there's the settings, ISO 100, F45. I think I may have mentioned in another video that one of the secrets of this lens, other than the obvious uh, close minimum focus distance, is the f-stop uh, goes to really high numbers, really small openings, which gives you uh, more depth of field. So I'm going to do this all in one shot. It's not going to be focus stacked, and I'm going to use the remote shutter release from Velo that I think I may have done a video about that as well. And here we go. Probably take a couple. There are some, it's, it's a, a bright sunny day, but there are some clouds, so the light's kind of changing. So I'll, I'm sure I'll do a few of these and figure out which one's the best in post-processing. Okay, so the next step would be to uh, take the old XQD card out of the Z6 and put it in the computer and see how this macro photo of the Gerber Daisy turned out. I'm assuming it must have turned out okay if you're seeing this video because if it came out looking really bad, I probably wouldn't post this. So um, let's watch the video now of our moistened Gerber Daisy natural light in the garage on a boat. What a mess. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.